Welcome to the Joy Learning Basic Classroom with me, Eva Brobe, your English facilitator for Basic 4. Today, we shall be looking at oral language and under that, treat conversations. You can as well follow us on our YouTube channel at Joy Learning TV. Before anything, I want to ask this. Have you ever been to any event or occasion before, wherever it was, whoever had it, whoever you went with? I want you to do this for me right now. Write down as many events as you have attended for me. And we are going to do this in a minute. Our time starts now. Our time is up. Welcome back. I hope you are able to write as many events as you have ever attended, be it weddings, naming ceremonies, school events, community events. You have done well. Now, with the activity we just did, I want you to just picture in your mind, just be thinking about what we are going to talk about today in your mind. Remember, when it's time, I will allow you to tell me what you thought about. Now let's look at our lesson for today. What do you think we are even going to treat about? And we have started mentioning occasions, events, and all that. What are we going to learn today? Today, we are going to learn to describe or talk about an event. And in this particular lesson, we are going to look at the Homo War Festival, which is a big event in a particular place in Ghana. I have an interesting video for you to watch, after which we'll talk about everything you watched in the video. Now we are going to talk about this using some questions that I'll be asking. Like we have started, get your pens and your books ready because you'll be doing a lot of writing and I'll be asking a lot of questions as well. Let's watch our video now.
We are back from watching the video. Now, I told you I'll be asking you some questions which are going to help us describe our observations in the video we just watched. Now, this is my first question. From the video, which group of people do you think celebrates this kind of festival that we just watched? Yes, your guess is as good as mine. It is the Homo Festival. And so, we all know that this particular festival is celebrated by the Gans in the greater Accra region. The Gans celebrates the Homo Festival. Now, what at all is this Homo that I have been mentioning and I keep on mentioning? What is it? What does it even mean? From the video again, the meaning of Homo was told. And what were we told? We were told that. Homo means hooting at hunger. Hooting at hunger. Now, in the video, we were given um, the two meanings of homo. Homo is a combined word. We have homo and wo. Homo meaning hunger, and wo means hooting. And when we put the two together, we get the full meaning as hooting at hunger, which is the meaning of the homo festival. Again, from the same video that we watched, when is this Homo festival celebrated at all? When? Which month of the year do we even celebrate the Homo festival? In the video again, we were told that the Homo festival is celebrated every year. And it is celebrated between the months of August and September. We celebrate the Homo festival every year between the months of August and September. Again, when we were watching the video, we saw some cooking going on. Now, what was this special meal that is prepared during Homo? And what at all do we use in preparing this special meal? In the video, we saw that Unfermented corn powder is used and it is mixed with palm soup and they mash it with some fish in a bowl. So we use unfermented corn powder with palm soup and fish in the preparation of this special food. And the special food that is prepared during this occasion is called bo -bui. The name sounds right, right? Let's all say it. Bo -bui. Good. You said it right. Now, let's go on. Apart from the people who celebrate it, where it is celebrated, when it is celebrated, the food we use in celebrating it. There were lots of other things that were going on in the video as well. Now, I want you to do this. Describe what you observed when you were watching the video. In the first scene that came in the video, what were your observations in the first scene of the video? Now, let's see if your observations match with mine because I asked you to be writing things down so that after we have watched the video, we all talk about it. I am also going to help this process by using some questions in order for us to come out with our observations. My first question is, did you see the men who had some leaves in their mouth? Did you see them? I hope you saw them in the video. Good, you saw them. Now, apart from them putting that leaf in their mouth, what else were they doing? What else did you even see or notice about these particular men? Now, these men that we have talked about or mentioned, Apart from they having the leaf in their mouths, they also had painted their faces with white clay. They had painted their faces with white clay. They had also had some herbs in the form of a chain around their necks. Again, they appear to be very serious and focused. These men that we are talking about appear to be very serious 
and focused on whatever they were doing at that time. These same men also had their bodies moving to the rhythm that was played in the background. It was unfortunate we couldn't hear the music that was played in the background. But from the video, we could just see that they were moving their bodies. And yes, they were moving their bodies according to the rhythm that was being played in the background of the video. I hope your observations were like mine, or even more of the things that you saw in there. Now, let's go on with our observations. Apart from the men, the women that we saw in the video, we had two, three sets of women in the video. Now, I'm talking about the first set of women that we saw in the video. What can you say about these women in the video? I am giving you a minute for you to tell me what you can say about the women in the video. And you know you can do that by writing them down. Then after that, we'll all come back and look at what we can say about the women. back to what we can say about the women that we saw in the video. Let's see if your guess is as good as mine. Now these first women that we saw, we saw that they had claws wrapped around their shoulders. They also had some ribbons in their hair. They had ribbons in their hair. They were actually dressed nicely. Now, these same women that we are talking about in the video, we saw them in a line. They were in a straight line. They were moving their hands up and down and also moving their bodies too as they moved their hands up and down in the video we just watched. Again, these same women had some, they, they, some of the women are, were also dressed in pure white calico. Some of the women were also dressed in pure white calico. I told you there were three sets of women in the video that we saw. We have finished talking about the first set. We are now moving on to the second set. The second set had some calico wrapped around them. And the calico was in uh, pure white. They also had beads around their neck. Also, they were holding pistol. I'm moving on to the third set of women that we had in there. So we are finished with the first. We are finished with the second. We are moving on to the third set. The third set had some pistol in their hands. I'm talking about the pistol we use in pounding fufu. This one is that pistol that we use in pounding palm nuts. Yes, the pistol we use in pounding palm nuts. And we saw some women in the video holding these pistols. And what are they using it for? They were using it to pound the mokoi in a mortar, like it was seen in the video. Now, apart from the women, the men, and all that, what? Else, what different thing did you also observe in the video we just watched? Now, these women that were pounding the kukui, you could observe that they had red scarf on 
unlike the other two sets of women that we have talked about, they had a red scarf on. They also had some of them around the fire where they were preparing the soup. The, where they were preparing the soup, we had some sets of women around the fire where the soup was being prepared. When everything had finished, they had to carry the soup on their heads. They carried the pots of soup that they, car uh, they prepared, sorry, on their heads. Then another set also carried a bowl of the kukwe on their head. So we had one set, we had another set, one set with soup, one set with the kukwe. We are still on our observations. There were also some big pots on the fire as they were prepared. We had a big pot on the fire, and these pots contained the soup, as I have mentioned already. Now, when they had finished preparing it again, we saw that some cocoa was being poured in a bowl, fish was added to it, and some people were mashing it with their hands in the bowl. They were mashing it with their hands in the bowl. Another scene in the video also talked about the chief priest with a white calico around his waist, performing some rituals. Now, all these things that we have said talks about a particular festival that is celebrated about, uh, that is celebrated, sorry, in Accra. And because the people in Accra are guns, these are the people that celebrate it. Now, what are we trying to do? We are trying to describe this particular event that we have. Now, I would want to ask this. Which tribe at all do you belong to? Don't worry. You write it down. We'll talk about this another time. Which tribe do you belong to? We have talked about a particular tribe. I want to find out which tribe you also belong to. Now, your tribe. Have you ever witnessed a festival that your tribe celebrates? Have you ever witness the festival your tribe celebrates. Because we are talking about description, this is what I want you to do. Just mention this type of festival that is celebrated by your tribe. Describe it if you have ever witnessed it or even read about it. Describe it to mommy, describe it to daddy, or anybody you find around you. Now, before we bring our lesson to a close, all that we have done, I would want you to also talk about your tribe, the festival they celebrate. Then when you finish, you can email it to us at Joy Learning TV. We'll look at it for you. All too soon, we are bringing our lesson to a close. But before we wrap up, what at all have you learned today? We've said a lot. What have you learned today? What have you learned today? Today, we have learned to describe or talk about a festival, which is an event. What festival did we talk about? We talked about the Homo Festival, which is celebrated by the people of Accra, Gans to be precise, because there are lots of people that live in Accra. It's celebrated by the Gans of Accra. And a lot of things go into the celebration, which we have described. The preparation of the kukwe, the dancing, the rituals that are performed, and everything. Like I have said already, make sure that you also talk about yours and email it to us at my Joy Learning TV. At Joy Learning TV. And we'll look at that. Till we meet again. My name is Eva Brobe, your English facilitator for Basic 4. Bye-bye.